So in this video right here, I broke down a bunch of reasons why people need to stop pressing their tofu. It's a big waste of time in my opinion. Now, I only did that because almost every single recipe I found on the internet said, press your tofu for 30 minutes, for 15 minutes, press it for 10 minutes. Pressing your tofu for 10, 15, 30 minutes isn't going to do anything. Now, when I made this video, I pressed the tofu for 30 minutes and I marinated it for about the same amount of time. Because, again, that is what most recipes on the internet say to do. So, to everyone out there that is tofu nuts, tofu fanatics, tofu lovers, people that just eat tofu a lot in general, you know that you have to press your tofu longer. You might even know of some cool tips or tricks on how to get your tofu firmer. But, to the average person that is following a recipe, Pressing your tofu, following the recipe, and marinating your tofu by following the recipe is simply not going to work. I proved that in this video. Now, when I released this video, I got a bunch of hate. There's a lot of comments. There's a lot of people that are upset at me that I was telling people to stop pressing tofu. People said that I didn't press the tofu long enough, and a lot of people said that I didn't marinate it long enough. So I thought, let's do those things. We're gonna marinate longer and press longer. But in today's video, I'm going to test Pressing tofu for three days versus three hours versus 30 minutes. We're also going to marinate the tofu longer. I'm not gonna test three days, three hours, three minutes on marinating because then that would be six day old tofu, which I don't even know if it's safe to eat. We're just gonna do overnight marinating. That is what everybody said. You need to marinate your tofu overnight. So to do this test, I have three of the exact same tofus. They're both firm, whole foods, organic tofu. We are going to press one for three days, and in exactly three hours before the third day, I'm going to start pressing the three hour tofu. And exactly 30 minutes before the three hour tofu is done, I'm going to start pressing the 30 minute tofu. So since we're waiting so long for the tofu to press, we have enough time to play a bunch of games of today's sponsor, Mech Arena. Mech Arena is a new mobile shooter that focuses on intense, quick, five on five PVP matches that are quick enough that you can play even when you don't have time to sit down for that 10 minute game. And the mechs that you get to play with are a ton of fun. I've been playing with Paragon. It's the one that you start with, but honestly, after a few upgrades, it has a huge energy capacity. So you can bring some of the biggest weapons and just mow down your opponents. And let me tell you about Killshot. Killshot's like one of the fastest mechs in the game. It's super fast, so you can get in and out, it has a really quick cooldown time. It is a blast to play with. I've been loving Killshot. And Mech Arena just had their huge Mechs Are Here event, where they raised $100,000 for charity. And that's not all. There's a ton coming to the game this month. Pilots feature has been added in the game, with 12 completely unique pilots to choose from and customize and they look awesome. On top of that, there's Battle Pass 2, three new two versus two deathmatch maps to fight on, and a packed schedule for holiday events. It's completely free right now to play on Android and iOS, and you can use my personal link or scan my QR code to get 50,000 credits, three gold crates, and one exclusive skin to help kickstart your game. And if you're quick, you can add me to friends and we can play some matches together. I'll be playing literally right now. So don't wait around, click the link, play Mech Arena, you're going to love it. I have been obsessed with this game. Thanks, Mecarina, for sponsoring today's video and giving me something to do while I'm sitting here waiting for my tofu to press. Okay, they're all done pressing. Now let's make our marinade using beetroot powder and marmite. I'm using beetroot powder because it's loaded with color and it's really going to penetrate into the tofu. It's gonna, it's gonna make the tofu go from white to pink and we'll be able to see how much the marinade actually penetrated. I'm using the Marmite because it's a nice meaty flavor. It will give the tofu a nice flavor. We let it bite into it. It's not going to just taste like a beet or like a weird flavor. I really want to taste something. We're then going to marinate that tofu overnight. And then we'll be ready to taste it. Okay, so the tofu's had time to marinate overnight. Now we're gonna take our pressed tofu and our marinated tofu, and we're going to cook it up. It's amazing how this pressed tofu has came out, and it's really awesome because you can really see the difference of the textures between the three-day pressed tofu and feeling how firm it is versus the 30-minute pressed tofu, and just feeling, you could even see how it's not pressed together. It's not like one solid unit like the three-day press is. 
Now, commonly, I've never pressed my tofu for three days. I've, I've never even pressed it overnight, but after the last video and all the tech and all the messages from people saying that you have to press it overnight, I wanted to give it a try, so it is pretty neat. So from this point, all we're gonna do is just throw these in a frying pan. I'm just gonna give them a nice quick sear on both sides. I'm gonna time it. I'm gonna make sure that they all get an even amount of heat and an even amount of cooking, just so they all come out fairly close. Really excited to see if there's a difference in how the marinade penetrated the tofu. So this is the 30 minute, and you could see with the 30 minute how it came out. It definitely looks like the marinade penetrated all the way through on the 30 minute, and I'm assuming that since the 30 minute was like that, then the three hour press is going to have the same results on the overnight marinade. Same thing, it looks like the marinade penetrated most of the way through, so that's pretty nice. And lastly, a piece of the three day press, the marinade, definitely looks like, again, it penetrated all the way through. I think an overnight marinade is required if you're going to be marinating your tofu. Uh, unlike what most recipes say, which say to marinate for an hour or so, an overnight is the only way you're gonna get that marinade to pen penetrate all the way through. So with these, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna toss them in a pan with a little bit of oil. We're just gonna kind of heat them up and bring them to temperature. I'm not gonna add any seasoning, salt or pepper, and I'm not gonna add any cornstarch. We're just gonna throw them in a pan, toss them around, bring them up to heat, and give them a little bit of a crisp. Okay, so these are all cooked. We have our 30 minute press, our three hour press, and our three day press. The only thing I'm gonna say is that they all cooked very evenly except the 30 minute press. The 30 minute press tofu, uh, it didn't cook as even. There's some darker spots on it. Uh, it actually broke apart a little bit. You can see how there's some pieces that are broken apart. Where the three day press and the three hour press both cooked incredibly, incredibly even. Now, the one thing that everybody has gotten on me about is the fact that I do not do a blind taste test. So to do this taste test, it's gonna be a little different. Normally, Monica comes in and we both taste these together. All we're gonna do today is I'm gonna have Monica randomly choose pieces and feed them to me. And I wanna see if I can tell the difference between the texture and the taste. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing the first piece was this one? It was. Okay, so the first piece I can tell was extra dry, um, but it was also very firm, which that's what made me believe that it was the three day pressed tofu. Okay. As far as the other two pieces, I had no idea which one was which. The 30 minute and the three hour, as far as pressing, didn't make a difference. So if you're gonna press, you're probably gonna press at least overnight. So now we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna turn around, we're gonna try all three of these. You choose in a random order, okay. and I'll see if I can figure out if there's a difference between them. All right. Okay, that one was a lot trickier. Okay. Um, was, this, was it the same thing? Was the first piece the three day? It no. wasn't. So once they're marinated, I couldn't tell the biggest difference. Was the first, was it the, the, this one? Yeah, that was the first piece. Okay, yeah. I, I really, I couldn't tell the difference between which one had the most marinade. Once they're marinated, once they sit back in that liquid, they kind of suck it all back in. It seems to lose the, the, the texture that you just created from firmness. the firmness that you just created from pressing for so many, for so many days. Which one was this one? The second one, yeah, it's so crazy. I could, I literally couldn't tell the difference between the three, the three-hour press and the and the three-day press once they were marinated. Really, the three-day press has probably the best look to it, uh, the best consistency, and like the least likely to just completely fall apart. I'm gonna say if you're gonna do the overnight marinade, your best bet would be to press for a few hours to a day, uh, but otherwise, it's not gonna make a huge difference. Uh, it, the really the biggest difference is if you're just going to leave the tofu plain, unmarinated, and you're just going to season the outside like a general so tofu or something where it's going to be in a sticky sauce. So that's it. That's my three day versus three hour versus 30 minute tofu. Again, I don't think it makes a huge difference. This is it. 
Tell me, is there any other things that I need to test besides the freezing method? I already did a video on that. I'll leave the link here and I'll leave the link to, you know, where I got that idea from, which was Mary's Test Kitchen. Otherwise, this is uh, my tofu series right here. You wanna go, baby? You want some tofu? We got tons of it now. Sure. Okay.